Don't worry, Dr. Wright. They won't bother us again. You can... You can speak in my head. Yes. I can do it now. And I can do a lot of other things, too, don't you think? You... They were going to put me away. They said they were going to put me away and make me do things. How could you? Everyone wants me to do things. Mommy and Daddy. Mr. Ballard. And even you, Dr. Wright. <laughs> just heard Teddy by Stephen Fragood. Featured in the title role was Maxine Miller with Nancy Kerr as Margie and Frank Perry as Gordon. You heard Maggie Morris as Beth and Jennifer Phipps as Dr. Emma Rice. Frank Ballard was played by John Granick and the policeman was John Stocker. The recording engineer was David Hoyle with sound effect by Matt Wilcott and the production assistant was Nancy McElveen. Teddy was produced and directed in Toronto by Peter Boretsky. The executive producer for Nightfall is Bill Howell. And now, here is a final word from your host. Hello again. Next week's Nightfall has a different sort of children's story for you. One for the child in each of us, the one we never leave behind. My teacher at school says it's wrong to say bad things about people, to judge them with, without even knowing at them. At school. They're trying to corrupt her, too. Well, I won't have it, you hear? I want Mary out of that den of iniquity immediately. Mother! Again, it's her education. Look at these books. Do you know what they mean? Comparative religions. Darwin! Biology of the human body. This isn't education. It's blasphemy. But, Daddy! The tools of Satan. No. I've made up my mind. You will not spend another day in that school. We'll attend to your education, and better than they. But how? Where, Dennis? Here. Here in this house where she'll be protected. Away from that school and away from those children. Here she'll be safe. 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 Child's Play. Our most recent contribution from the pointed pen of Arthur Samuels, starring Eve Crawford, radio that refuses to grow up into anything other than your ears. That's next week on Nightfall. Until then, careful of the edge. <gasps>
on Variety Tonight, Vicky's special guest is well-known San Francisco pianist Dave Brubeck. Brubeck talks about his early life as a member of one of music's most talented families. Variety Tonight at 8.04, 8.34 in Newfoundland. Then on Mostly Music, tenor Jose Carreras in a performance recorded during the 1981 Salzburg Festival. That's on Mostly Music at 10.35, 11.05 in Newfoundland. Here is the CBC News. The Minister for External Affairs says that the Western nations must become convinced that a buildup of advanced nuclear weapons will reduce the risk of war. Mr. McGuigan told a meeting of businessmen and academics in Los Angeles that Canada is firmly behind the United States administration in its stand against Soviet aggression. And he expressed the hope that the leaders of other NATO countries would see that the continued weakness of NATO was an invitation to nuclear attack. Mr. McGuigan said he supported the need for continued negotiations on the reduction of nuclear arms. But he said the best way to bargain was from strength, not weakness. Prime Minister Trudeau has urged the Polish military regime to end martial law and to open the way to national renewal and reconciliation. His comments are part of a television message to be broadcast this weekend during an international day of support for solidarity. Mr. Trudeau says too many Poles are in detention and too many freedoms have been crushed. However, he also emphasizes that the Polish people must be left free to solve their own problems. A prominent Montreal law professor, Maxwell Cohen, has been appointed a temporary judge to serve in a hearing by the International Court into the fisheries dispute between Canada and the United States. A five-member judicial committee was set up last week to rule on the fisheries boundary in the Gulf of Maine. One of the five judges in a, is an American, so it was decided that a Canadian should also sit in on the hearing. Mr. Cohen, an expert on international law, has been nominated a judge solely for this case. The other judges on the committee come from West Germany, Italy, and France. A study done for the Royal Commission on Newspapers says that in recent years, the Supreme Court has been hard on freedom of expression.